He joined Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued a circular regarding the recess on the occasion of His Majesty the King's accession to anniversary and the National Day celebrations where all government ministries, authorities and institutions in Bahrain will be off on Wednesday and Thursday corresponding to December 16th and 17th. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister received at Qudaybiyah Palace today royal family members and senior state officials. The meeting discussed national issues and developments, during which His Royal Highness confirmed that the nature of the current status and its challenges required double efforts to achieve the aspired goals of the country and the people based on unity and cohesion. The Prime Minister said optimism and caution were needed to protect the homeland and preserve its security and stability. He stressed the importance of national unity and one family spirit among the people of Palestine. Bahrain and reinforcing communication to maintain the gains made in all fields. The Prime Minister affirmed Bahrain is rich with its culture and heritage, commending all efforts to protect and invest in the kingdom's culture. He outlined the government's support to investment projects that aim at encouraging tourism to Bahrain and contribute in highlighting the urban and tourist side of the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister met at Qudaybiya Palace today the Secretary General of the Gulf Corporation Council, Dr. Ablatif Zayani. His Royal Highness congratulated Dr. Zayani on his reappointment to the post for another three years' term, wishing him success in supporting the efforts of reinforcing Gulf joint action. He reviewed the results of the session of the GCC Supreme Council recently held in Saudi Arabia in Riyadh, in addition to the decision taken by the GCC leaders to reinforce political, economic, security and military Gulf cooperation. He said the outcomes of the summit and the initiatives of the custodian of the two holy mosques and leaders of the rest of GCC countries would strengthen Gulf cooperation in face of challenges and confirm the importance of initiatives that support the Gulf entity towards union aspired to by the people of the GCC to guarantee security and stability facing all challenges and preserving the accomplishments of the Council's countries. His Royal Highness said GCC has been able to establish a strong foundation to strengthen ties among its members states and build an effective model of partnership and cooperation in the political, economic and security fields. He pointed that the Council has been able to stand strong amid difficult times thanks to GCC leaders and their desire to protect the Council as a unifying place for Gulf action. The Prime Minister said regional developments require all GCC countries to be ready to deal with any challenges against conflicts, stressing commitment to supporting development efforts that meet the demands of the people of a safe and stable living and called on the need for GCT countries to increase coordination, especially in security and safety. For his part, Dr. Zayani thanked His Royal Highness for his supportive stances to every Gulf effort to support Gulf action, hailing his vision and awareness of the current status, which reflects the shared destiny and goals that bring Gulf countries and people together. He highlighted the stances of the Prime Minister regarding enhancing cooperation among GCC countries and moving to a higher state that develops the country's role, the Council's role, as a strong regional entity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, Chairman of the EDB, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired today a board meeting of the EDB in Rafah. Bahrain is implementing a comprehensive program of structural, economic and fiscal reforms to strengthen its long-term development. The program is underpinned by three pillars, streamlining government expenditure, further redirecting government subsidies towards citizens and a series of economic reforms and infrastructure projects worth more than $32 billion to increase investment and maintain growth. At the opening of the meeting, His Royal Highness noted that the unprecedented infrastructure investment due to take place in Bahrain would make a vital contribution to diversification efforts and non-oil sector growth. 
He stressed that a key priority within the strategy is to improve citizens' living standards and provide sustainable job opportunities for all, emphasizing that modernizing business and investment regulation is crucial to facilitating and fostering entrepreneurial opportunities. The chief executive of EDB, Khaled Rumehi, presented the EDB's operational plan for 2016 and the target sectors that the EDB will focus on over the next 12 months. He said EDB's efforts to promote Bahrain in target markets, including China and Germany, have resulted in significant business agreements this year and attracted international investment that will support substantial job creation. Mr. Rumehi noted that continued diversification efforts have led to stable economic growth which is forecast to reach 3.6% in 2015 and that the contribution of the financial services, manufacturing and construction sectors now exceeded that of the oil sector, which contributes only one-fifth of the GDP. He noted that the Crown Prince's directives are reflected in the EDB's 2016 operational plan and that the EDB's future efforts will focus specially on the manufacturing, transportation and logistics, tourism, financial services and ICT sectors. EDB's or Bahrain's EDB is a dynamic public agency with overall responsibility for attracting investment into Bahrain and supporting initiatives that help enhance the investment climate. Its role is to work with current and prospective investors ensuring that Bahrain's investment climate is attractive, in identifying its key strength and where opportunities exist to further economic growth through investment. The EDB focuses on several economic sectors that capitalize on Bahrain's competitive advantages and provide significant investment opportunities. The Deputy Prime Minister, Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Reconstruction and Infrastructure, Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, inaugurated today's sewage treatment plant in the northern city in attendance of senior officials. Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah hailed the constant follow up of the Royal Highnesses, the Prime Minister, and the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, in implementing the government's plans. He affirmed that the new housing projects reflect the government's keenness to provide citizens with the best housing service and affirm the government's commitment to implementing the Northern City project in addition to other strategic projects. The Deputy Prime Minister then unveiled the memorial plaque to start implementing the sewage treatment plant of the Northern City and toured the city hailing the remarkable efforts of the Ministry of Housing to provide Bahraini citizens with their needs. The Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, chaired today the weekly meeting. The Council began by congratulating the wise leadership on the occasion of the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and Bahrain's National Day. Then they approved a recommendation by the Foreign Affairs, Defence and National Security Committee on a draft law regarding Bahrain's joining the International Convention on Maritime Search and Rescue. They discussed a report by the Services Committee on a draft law regarding protecting society against acquired immunodeficiency syndrome or AIDS. The meeting looked into letters received from the Representative Council regarding protecting society from terrorism, approved another draft law on the agreement between Bahrain and Cyprus, and an agreement between Bahrain and Tajikistan regarding avoiding double taxation. The Arab Social Ministers meeting in their 35th session in Sharm el-Sheikh in Egypt chose Bahrain to chair the two-day meeting in recognition of its achievements in the Arab and international arenas. Labor and Social Development Minister Jamil Hamidan presided over the pan-Arab meeting, which addresses key issues. The minister hailed the Arab recognition of the kingdom's success in achieving sustainable development goals and asserted the importance of the social and economic issues on the agenda of the two-day conference, which concludes tomorrow. He highlighted particularly the forthcoming conference, which would be held in January in Bahrain under the patronage of the Prime Minister. The ministerial level meeting will focus on the implementation of the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda in Arab countries. 
The President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamay ibn Mohammed Al Khalifa, took part in the opening ceremony of the photo gallery on the occasion of the 25th anniversary of the start of diplomatic relations between Bahrain and Russia at the State Historical Museum in Moscow. Sheikh Hamay thanked the organizers of the exhibition led by Bahrain's embassy staff in Russia, commending their constant efforts to build bridges of communication between peoples of both countries and highlighted the strong bilateral relations in the cultural field. For his part, Bahrain's ambassador to Russia, Ahmed Al Saati, thanked Sheikh Hamey for attending the event and hailed the role of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities in enriching the cultural scene. The year 2015 has witnessed major achievements in the fields of primary and secondary health care in Bahrain. The ministry has strived to devise strategies to meet the overall objectives of providing the best health care to the Bahraini population. Mohamed Shaban reports. Various achievements under the mandate of the Ministry of Health have materialized in the Kingdom of Bahrain during the past year. These milestone achievements come in line with set strategies extracted from the government's action plan and the overall objective of providing the best health care to the citizens. We as Ministry of Health, in partnership with all stakeholders, we will do our best in providing the services for the whole residents in the country and getting them a very high quality um, uh, health services uh, throughout all the life. The year 2015 witnessed major advancement in secondary and tertiary health care in Bahrain, especially with regards to providing care for sickle cell disease patients. The hematology center was launched alongside Salmania Medical Complex and is now equipped with 90 beds dedicated to sickle cell patients. The experienced people there, the experts from, from John Hopkins, uh, uh, John Hopkins um, uh, hospitals, they attend to Salmania Medical Complex. The, we set a plan with them and an action plan mainly to provide much better services for sickle cell disease. So we opened the center. This is one of the major achievements for Ministry of Health of this year. An A-rated health center opened this year adds to the long list of achievements in the primary health care field in the country. The Khaled Bumaher Health Center provides a wide array of services ranging from radiology to professional nursing, full-time consultations and dental services. So it is an A health center. That's mean you could say you could you could just uh, um, see the, the services which will be provided there as uh, radiology, uh, lab, um, um, consultants mainly as a family physicians, and at the same time nursing services. Uh, you, you know, it is just like a very comprehensive services in this health center. Perhaps one of the most groundbreaking achievements for the ministry is the application of iSaha, a computerized system that is launching the industry into the paperless era for prescriptions, diagnoses and referrals. The system has been implemented in all primary health care units and the first phase of which is underway in Salmania Medical Complex. iSaha in Bahrain, which is a very national uh, project. So it's not only just for Ministry of Health. That means we will be integrated with other hospitals, uh, public and even maybe in the future of, with the private sector. And now all the health centers, which is 28 health centers, all of them they are working as electronic file. The Ministry of Health takes pride in its launched Patient First initiative. This setup targets patients' complaints and recommendations and applies the outcomes for the purpose of improvement of services. We are getting the experience of, of these patients from the secondary care, from the primary care, or from even any, any services which will be related to health, to Ministry of Health. The Ministry of Health continues to launch its projects that fall under its strategies of sustainable development in the field of health care and well-being in the kingdom, while keeping the patient first in the delivery of its services. Another year of fruitful achievements and over 20 initiatives launched by the Ministry of Health that go in line with the government's action plan and a vision of making Bahrain a center of excellence for health. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain Television News.